when this guy sat down, um, I, I was instantly taken back. He was being shown, uh, the dealer was being shown this 94S, he was being shown a 94P, 95S, crazy dates. And so uh, I bought this one from the dealer and then the guy actually slipped me his information. So, just got home from the Austin Coin Show. Got a lot of cool dates to show you guys today. Whole slew of coins here. And I got a Kennedy half dollar roll, original roll right there. A lot of cool things in this video. Stay tuned. Grab your Red Bulls, grab your drinks, and uh, be prepared to learn something. Uh, we actually found out and have been practicing uh, a new rule for coin shows that you're going to want to hear. So, uh, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey guys, just made it up to the light box. Wanted to show you guys some more stuff that we got this weekend. Uh, a lot of stuff we got at the Austin uh, Coin Show. Uh, they call it the Central Texas Coin Show, but uh, a rule that I wanted to talk to you guys about, discuss with you, um, is when you're at a coin show and you think it's over and you want to go home, uh, stay another half an hour. Um, I've, I've found that uh, doing that uh, Something is bound to happen. I've been to a few coin shows where uh, I thought it's time to go, spend another half an hour, and someone put more stuff out, or uh, a deal randomly came through. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit more in this video about that. I met a really awesome guy that does a lot of vest pocket dealing, and uh, he's going to be working with me more just because I stayed another half an hour. Um, and uh, it, it really is going to help me in the long run, and it will help you guys too if you watch out. Uh, and spend that extra half an hour at a coin show. But first up, we'll be showing off this 1901 graded AU55. Um, the uniqueness about the AU55 1901 is that um, I think it doubles in price from AU53, and um, uh, so stuff like this is a little bit more uh, in demand because uh, you know people want something that is a higher quality. Example, uh, an AU53 sometimes don't have that. Uh, kind of uh, luster still on the coin and so this 1901 does has a little bit of uh, rim toning as well um, found this from a nice guy at the show his name's Jackie um, he actually sold this to us for a great price and a few other coins as well um, he really helped us make the show um, and get some more stuff for you guys if you guys are interested in any coins uh, acousticcollectibles.com uh, will be your place uh, for all Morgans and other coins as well. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a few other coins. This is an 1875S uh, 20 cent piece. Um, I got this um, from a nice dealer. His name's Terry. And the nice thing about this coin is that um, it, it is a pretty high grade. Uh, as we discussed in prior videos, but I'll also repeat now, um, they had quarters. And they had half dollars, they had dollars, and they also had 20 cent pieces back then. And what most merchants were pretty upset about um, was almost the exact resemblance to the quarter or a dime as this 20 cent piece. I'm pretty sure it was the quarter. And so when you received a 20 cent piece, you were shorted 5 cents. And so needless to say, many collectors like this coin and are looking for it now, but people that uh, received this as money for uh, payment for you know goods back then they uh, started to graffiti these coins and um, you know do things to them so people knew uh, they were 20 cent pieces instead of quarters and that's why it's a little bit harder right now to find them in better condition uh, this coin um, has very nice details but as you can tell by it um, it is lackluster um, it's been freshly graded by uh, NGC and the cool thing about uh, these coins when you're trying to find one for a friend of yours or a collector is that they're trying to put them in their typesets. So uh, when you find a coin like this um, uh, and you find it for the right price, it is something that you really should consider uh, picking up for a friend 
because uh, most of the time they need something like this. Now we're also going to compare it to another coin we got at the show. This is a seated dollar, um, and you could sell almost the same exact uh, design, just on a smaller scale. Um, I love uh, the seated dollars, and I love the 20 cent pieces. Uh, in between isn't that uh, is pretty common, but stuff like this uh, really catches my eye, and it really makes me enjoy uh, these coins. This is an 1849 uh, seated dollar. Um, you can tell that it has some light cleaning on the obverse. Um, still has some luster on it, but uh, the NGC fatty, the green fatty, is pretty interesting. Um, and then when we flip it over, uh, the obverse has some clean, or the reverse has some cleaning as well. But luster is still pretty nice, showing through on the coin. Um, uh, I just whenever I actually sold a seated dollar recently, and so I've been trying to fill a slot to just keep those uh, opportunities available. You know. Um, there's always a seated dollar guy that comes through, or there's a 20 cent guy that comes through. So uh, stuff like this doesn't really sell for me super quick, but it does give you a variety for your shop. Uh, you just don't want to be written off as someone that's the Morgan guy or uh, the Peace Dollar guy, but you also want to be uh, offering things that people don't see every day. And this is a coin just like that. So uh, pretty nice coin. Um, very fortunate enough to be able to handle it. And... Uh, I want to show you guys uh, this 1928S, got an AU58. Uh, most of the time, uh, well, the 28S is a little bit more of a difficult date, and people are trying to fill it for their collection. Um, and so, uh, this is more for the affordable uh, coin coin uh, collector. Um, uh, AU58 coin, AU55 coin can run you any between 150 uh, to 175, and Anything above that starts to get in a three, four, five, six hundred dollar range. Um, so most of the time, this is kind of the the breaking point for a few people. And um, with 28 S's, I've been doing pretty well on. Uh, you can't go wrong with them. Uh, the date uh, is pretty nice. And when I find coins like this, it has some uh, unattractive toning to it, but the luster is very nice for an almost uncirculated example. Here is another beautiful coin. This is an 1879O, graded uh, AU55. Uh, we had uh, an MS64 that we showed off last video. Uh, very nice, um, but those do get expensive like we were talking about from 64 to 65 and up. Um, so most of the time the AU range is something that uh, is attainable for many new collectors. And um, like I said, this coin uh, has some pretty nice uh, white uh, fields to it. Uh, has some nice lusters 455 um, and so something like this is something that I really like and would like to uh, acquire just so um, collectors that would like to spend $100 or less uh, at my coin shop um, would do so uh, maybe on this coin. Um, what's been pretty unique this past week is I've been written by a few people saying hey Drew I have 100 bucks the wife's let me spend 100 bucks or I have 100 bucks in the budget and I, uh, I need something to buy. And uh, I was actually able to send out a few coins like that this week. And that's something that I've been trying to keep attentive of um, and try to keep people's best interests in mind when that happens because um, we're all looking for certain things and we're all looking for the best customer service when buying a, a nice example. And that's something that we try to do here at Akusha Collectibles. Um, and so if you guys are ever interested in coins like this one or the ones we've shown off, please visit our website at acousticcollectibles.com. But 1892 is a little bit more of a common date compared to the 92S and 920. Um, this one I paid a little bit up for just because it did fill the hole in my inventory. I haven't been able to offer 92s for quite some time just because um, coins like this have been more difficult to track down during this hot market. Um, this coin... Uh, it is a little bit uh, dark, but you can expect that for an AU50. Uh, it has some light cleaning as well, um, but nonetheless, I'm very fortunate enough to offer a coin uh, of this caliber. And uh, what has been nice about this is I've been starting to move into better date coins like this, and then uh, you know a month or two after that, I end up running into an 1892 that's graded min state 62 or something that. Uh, you know, 
I got my feet in the water like with something like this, but then when I see something that is of high caliber later down the road with a higher grade, I end up jumping on it because I did lay the groundwork for a type of coin like this, which ended up helping me find a customer for a bigger coin. And that's something that um, is very good to know. Um, you know, if you're selling a 16D Mercury dime or an early date Mercury dime, uh, Mercury, uh, I'm sorry, early date Walking Liberty half or uh, better date quarter. Um, you know, when you start to develop that customer base, you can end up trying to find a higher grade example because um, you're going to have the customer base to help you uh, move that coin along and find a new, uh, new home for it. This is an 1883S graded AU50. Luster is very nice uh, for AU50. The wear is, uh, is what's contributing to that AU50 mark. Um, I think this coin, uh, as they're presenting it, is close uh, to XF, but the luster carried it over that line. Um, coins like this, many people are on the hunt for um, just because of their eye appeal. Um, some circulated coins are ugly, and some are uh, pretty like this one. And um, I'm very uh, fortunate enough to be sending this to um, one of my friends. His name's Mark. Um, he's going to love this coin. And he's actually been helping us out a lot lately. So shout out to Mark, a great guy. So we actually found an 1898S a few weeks ago. Um, and we sold it to a collector uh, fairly quickly. Um, he pounced on it when he could. And uh, I, I was on a need in a hunt for a coin like this. Uh, we actually found this um, with... with um, with Mr. Jackie again. So Jackie sold us, uh, I think, six or seven coins. Um, he had them very reasonably priced, and I think he actually ran into a bigger collection. Um, and you can actually tell because when I was trying to catalog, actually cataloging all these coins, uh, you know, you could see that the, you could see these certification numbers lining up here. Um, he sent in a whole slew of examples though, and. Uh, one like this um, is pretty hard to find. I think these are selling for about $275 um, in this grade. And anything above this really is starting to get into the four, five, six, you know, thousand dollar mark in mint state. So uh, I actually had a few collectors reach out to me and say, hey, we're only buying really AU kind of great examples at this time um, because they are, uh, you know, what I can spend uh, bi weekly or monthly. And that's something I've been trying to be attentive of. And then as time moves on, just say, say as you know, they get a new job or uh, they're wanting to spend more money in numismatics. Um, I might run into a Mint State 64 1898s, and they would say, "Hey, Drew, I think it's time. You know, you've developed that that uh, the relationship with me, and uh, I want to make an upgrade to my 98s or my 95s or you know uh, my Mercury Dime." And so that's where I want to be with people. That's where I want to be here for you guys. Whenever you need a coin, I'm here to help you. Whenever you need an upgrade, I want to be here to help you as well. Um, any stage of your numismatic life is what Acoustic Collectibles wants to be attentive of. So, like I said, if you guys ever need a coin or on the hunt for something, our website is available. But also, uh, if you want to send me a list, uh, either message us on our website or comment down below. I'll take a screenshot, send you guys a message, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But... We also found another AU58. This is an 1889O. Uh, 89 uh, P's are pretty common, but the 98 O's are a little bit tougher. Uh, not too many distracting uh, parts about this coin. You can kind of see a little bit of toning, which is uh, you know adds a little bit of attraction to the coin. Uh, the reverse is very nice, uh, fully blast white, um, and for and for most AU58s, you need full breast feathers to hit that kind of. Uh, mint state uh, level. This coin, uh, as you can see, almost where uh, the center of the chest is, um, there is that wear there. And also, um, you can see the luster leaving the face on the obverse, and uh, that cartwheel is not fully present. So that's something that could help you guys grade AU58 to mint state coins. Um, but nonetheless, this coin is gorgeous. Um, it's going to fit well in someone's collection. So, we were talking earlier about staying half an hour later at a coin show. Um, there was a gentleman that walked through, 
and he sat down with the dealer and he started selling all of his coins to him. And for me, I am a Morgan Dollar hunter. I love them, um, and I have a lot of customers that enjoy them. This 1894S, he sold to a dealer, uh, I think under Gray Sheet, and I waited for that dealer to uh, reveal all these coins to me afterwards. So what was interesting about it was they said, hey, I'm about to leave, and I'm going to go. Uh, I bought a few coins from the dealer, and then when this guy sat down, um, I, I was instantly taken back. He was being shown, uh, the dealer was being shown this 94S, he was being shown a 94P, 95S, crazy dates. And so, uh, I bought this one from the dealer, and then the guy actually slipped me his information. And so I sat there for about half an hour, 45 minutes, waiting for... Uh, this vest pocket dealer to be done with the, the dealer that sold him all these nice coins. I bought this 94S, like I said, from the dealer. And then uh, the gentleman sat down with me and he sold me this amazing coin. This is an 1879cc rated XF45. Uh, it has some light cleaning on it. Um, and that, that's not too big of an issue um, for these uh, nicer coins here. Uh, there's also something interesting about the coin right here. I haven't even taken a quick look at it. Uh, it might be a lamination issue. Or a lamination uh, kind of, uh, I don't know. I have to take a look at that and get back with you on it. But the moral of the story is I, I spent a little extra time waiting him out, uh, giving myself some time to, uh, you know, look around a little bit more at the coin show. And I ended up uh, walking out with this coin and a new connection. Um, and so one day I want to tell you guys about a bunch of stories like this, but remember the 30, uh, 30 minute rule is something that you should practice with your coin business, um, at a coin show because you never know what you're going to find. And when you do spend that extra half an hour, you could walk out with something like this. This example sold as soon as I posted it at home and will be shipped out tomorrow. So uh, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, part of the video. We're going to cut to the outro, um, and I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate all your support. We hope you learned something valuable from this video, and stay tuned for more content. We're going to be going to Pittsburgh soon, so you're going to see a lot of exciting stuff from there. Thanks again.